What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Frank and this is episode 7 of the Realistic Career Mode. I have been away for a little bit. I'm not going to waste any time and we're going to jump right in to this episode. It's going to be a huge month here, only four matches, so it might be a little quicker than what you're expecting. A big match versus Drusberg coming up and I'll see everybody on the pitch, hopefully with the victory and hopefully getting on the stat sheet. Looking for the 10 rating today in this match, Jesus Fabianski looks to make an impact early and often. Let's see how it goes for him, and I think it's gonna be a great episode. There it is, good defense. Will call, quick pass now. Jesus on the run. Looking for a striker. Oh, but he goes all the way up to the outside. Lee Jen Han on the ball now. And line hard, we know what he can do. Lee Jen Han looking for the pass now. Jesus on it, but no luck. Great interception, Lugvitz. Good touch, but a striker. Quick back heel too, Jesus. On the ball like Messi, making a right run and a beautiful pass, but no luck. Try to go outside the foot there on the Travella pass and just perfectly intercepted by the opposition. You're looking for the goal now. Baquer, not good enough. Jesus, look at him, movement. Go up the pitch, go up the pitch. Good touch, Lang. Now we're making a run behind Lang, trailing now. Looking to overlap him, and we do. Mula, good pass now, Lang. I think one thing about this team that makes them really good is their defensive attributes because offensively, they haven't been able to do anything to us. Now, on this season, I'm pretty sure we have 17 draws. So it isn't like we're losing every match. We probably have about 10 losses. I'm pretty sure eight wins, maybe not even. Five wins, maybe, and the rest have to be draws. Great interception. Hey, Sos on the ball. What a beautiful touch. Maybe going all the way. Ball roll, loses the man in the shot. Goal! Hey, Sos Fabianti gets this one started. That's exactly what you want to see. Goes all the way and turns this match up. Representing Italy and turning up for that country in Germany. Having to learn a new language. Calling for the ball. Right here, right here in German. I don't know it. But a beautiful shot. Not the greatest amount of power. But just enough finesse to get around a goalkeeper. And that's exactly why you must sign this man if you're FC Freiburg 1. But once again, he is not looking the greatest. So I'm not going to sim too much after this episode. I want to really see what the comments has to say. And we shall see where he goes next. Wow, what a through ball. Perfectly played. And of course, hey, I love this team. You know what I'm saying? This, we're trash, so it really feels like we have to work for that win. But right here is just abysmal. It's just horrible. You don't want to see this every time, right? I mean, the through ball that was beautifully slid in there, but the finish is just the icing on top of the cake. The cherry on top. Beautiful move. Yep, slow down. And good pass. I like Lang and a beautiful touch now. Jesus Fabianski in the attack and a beautiful cross. Has to be. Finish! Dang, right to the top of his head. And apparently he could not go into the back of the net with that one. I really hope that was not line hard because we were moving that ball perfectly. And to see him come off that pitch right now, it's very disappointing because he's one of our better players. Oh! Golasso! Golasso, the number 11 Neymar-esque header. Beautifully struck, but the cross is what set the man up. Sent perfectly in by Jesus Fabianski and already looking good. One goal and one assist for sure. We are going to get man of the match today. Beautiful pass but I do like the header even more. Perfectly struck into the right position. Left side of that net, a wonder class header, and look at the man for the opposition. The number two team trying to make a play, but no luck. No way, a handball call, and this could be drastic for our position in this game. Stepping up to the kick, and we jump. Whoa. Wretched, they called it. Exactly my words I would use. Wretched. Man, they said wretched to woeful, terrible free kick. That was exactly like Sterling for Chelsea. Sorry to rub that one in, but as an Arsenal fan, I'm going to take all my chances to bag on the London teams. A beautiful touch by Stark. Let's go. What a move. Oh, Jesus. Quick movements. The black Messi. We know his monikers already. Stepping over to move and a great touch. One more. Black Messi. Go. Lasso! Two assists on the day, one goal. That's a soft hat trick, no surprise. He is here to turn up. A beautiful pass, and of course, Stark, his second goal on the day. I'm not sure if he's gonna be man of the match, but probably not, given that Jesus Fabianski has a goal contribution of his own. This match is all about shocking the supporters, shocking the opposition, and even shocking ourselves. I didn't expect to win like this, 3-1, and honestly, it disappoints me to see something like this because all those draws, we could have pushed ourselves a little bit further 
and we would have got those victories. Maybe even top of the table. I'm not too sure which team I'll be going to next season, but let me know down below in the comment section which team you would like to see me go to. It might even be a second season on this team, given that I have not done enough to get pulled up to FC Freiburg. All right, everybody, I'll see y'all in the next match, hopefully with some performance that is similar to this match and with a win. All right, everybody. And here we go. Another match at Town Park. I'm pretty sure it's a home affair, and we know what we have to go out here and do. It's a top 10 team in the table, Arminia Bebelfield. Know nothing about this team. I just know that they have more points than us, and it's an opportunity to go out here and showcase our talents late in this season. If we can win four games, these last four of this season, it gives me hope that we'll build up and be an even better team next time our campaign comes around. But look at Linefield already. Good defense, Linehard, excuse me. Good touch and Lugvitz. Beautiful ball, but look at the run. Jesus already in it. Getting involved, staying on the ball. And a quick turn, but an even better play. And maybe a beautiful through ball. We'll find out. Whoa, Jesus making a play. All over the place, flying. And here we go, it's a match in the history books to start this one out. We're pressing like Bayern Munich and we're looking for the victory. Moving down the pitch, looking like Mezzo Erzo. And a quick pass, but no way, Lugvitz, one of our better defenders, and he makes the play. Lee Jen Han already see me running, and I see our striker in the midfield. Beautiful pass, and he goes all the way. He has to, all the way, finish, finish! Let's go, call him up, call him up on the phone, because he is gonna be long gone after this season. You better make a long distance phone call, or better get WhatsApp, because they will charge you for those out of country calls. Jesus Fabianski is turning up right now. A beautiful pass inside to El Gendoin. I'm still pretty trash with that one. I'm saying Gundogan like he playing for uh, Barcelona. <laughs> But um, I'm working on his last name. The striker goes down there and gets a beautiful finish into the back of the net. Hamadi Al Gawidi. Gawudu, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna call him Hamadi. Ah, uh, I remember this team now. Especially this man in the midfield, Sheik. He's actually a pretty good player. I mean, I tip my hat to him. But Stark, two-way player. We saw two goals from him last match, but already getting involved defensively. And I see my man calling for the pass inside. A beautifully started pass. Al Gawidi, one more. Looking for the shot, gotta be Travella. Oh, Jesus, Hamdouala, Fabianski. The only way we get it done is by the grace of God, going down there and getting the Travella finish into the back of the net. Nobody to thank but my teammates. A great pass, number 18. Look at this, slots it off, and Jesus, get him ballsy, lets it fly. No chance the keepers get into that one. Jesus Fabianski's really starting to turn it up, and we're gonna see some great things from him next season. Only 18 years young. He started the season as a 17-year-old young man. No facial hair and a low cut. Those are the most beautiful crosses in the game. If you can hit one of those to your teammate, you got a, probably about a 50% chance of that being a beautiful goal. Like, they'll go up there and do something crazy for you. Jump over two players, get ahead to it. Oh, good touch. Wolf, gotta be. Gotta be, goal. Too easy. I'm not here for goals, trust me. I could have shot that one, but we have an easy shot. One more pass, Lee Jen Han, looking like Yo Kim Son. I'm pretty sure that's his name from uh, number seven from the Spurs. North London stand up, but Arsenal though, we don't care about Spurs on this channel. <laughs> all love though, all love, just jokes. Quick touch, Jesus looking for the nutmeg now, but we'll move it. Wow, that dude can't even stand on his feet. Good touch, Jesus, woo, 25, can't touch me. Good touch by Jesus, look at this. Making a run to the goal now and maybe possibly getting the goal. Beautifully hit, gotta be a goal. Get in there. What a save by the goalkeeper, man. He does not want this to be 4-0 on the day, but it could be right here. Has to be. Has to be. Has to be. Very lucky I did not get my third assist. I'm pretty sure that would have been. But it was a great game today from Jesus Fabianski. And look at that smile on my face. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying so far. I'll see everyone in our next match after this. Hopefully with another victory. It's going to be our third out of the fourth. And I'll see everybody when it's time. And here we go. It's that time. Another great matchup here in the Bundesliga 3. It's going to be Saarbrücken. A team that was at top of the table to begin this season. And about halfway through, they started to slip. I'm not exactly sure what happened. We did lose this matchup last time we faced off against them I'm pretty sure so today we're gonna look to showcase our talents like the last two wins and hopefully get another victory there we go Jesus turn it up turn it up turn it up turn it up oh oh what a finish I'm telling you he don't got pace on them shots it's just like it's curled off the boot 
It's so quick off the boot. He ain't going top left bins. He's going at the keeper. Curling it around the man and knocking it in the back of the net. We're going to have to see that one again. Slow it down. Jesus Fabianski. Long shot. He's finally bowed it. And that ball perfectly drops. Not too much air on it. It's kind of skipping frame there. A beautiful shot. Getting embraced by his teammates. No surprise. He turns up once again. Leinhardt playing a good defensive position. And Jesus Fabianski kind of trailing in this middle area. Great interception. Hamadi. And Jesus Fabianski with a beautiful turn. And maybe looking for the push. Steps over. Gets in front of his man. Beautiful touch. Gotta be finish, finish, finish. <laughs> he sets him up. I'm not sure what he's doing throwing up across his chest, but another great finish from the number 18 man. Nine times two equals 18. And Hamadi goes all the way in in a beautiful pass, sets him up perfectly just to go with that weak foot, right-sided shot to the right side of the net and directly past the keeper. Playing the ball on the cutback, maybe. We'll see if I can play it though. Good cross in and a good play by Stark. He had two goals in the first match and he plays center back. This dude's a two-way player, bro, and I love it. He's a beast. Maldini. There we go. I think we've been doing exactly what we need to. And here we go. Hey, Suze Fabianski. Make the run. Make the run. Damn, he's tired. That could have been a goal. I think the goalkeeper actually was outside of the net. So maybe a shot there would have been pretty advantageous to take. Final score today. 2-0 on the day. No surprise. And that's exactly what we were looking for. The third victory of today. I'm not sure what's been happening. Maybe the gaffer told us, hey, fellas, we pretty much have nothing else to look forward to. So let's get these victories. All right, everybody, one more episode to play, one more match to play in this episode, and I will see all y'all faces in the last match. It is another match, and it is that time. A team not as good as our opponents before, but still, we'll give them respect, because trust me, any team can beat us. It shows in our record and our standing in the league. Quick back kill, but Rudlin, beautiful pass, one more. Staying in the press. I like it. I like it. We're starting out strong. I'm telling you, a goal. Next possession. Here we go. It's going to be a goal right here. Lang looks good, but I'm looking for Stark. Moves it outside. And a beautiful touch. Lang. Leinhardt. Let's go. Come on, Leinhardt. Goal. Finish, finish, finish. Hey, I told you we was going to get a goal. We did not right there, but I mean, we pretty much did. That was pretty much going to be a goal. And it looks like Stark is playing against his brother in the opposition. A beautiful through ball, of course, and Fest. Woo! I told you, we could not sleep on any teams. This is not a Tempur-Pedic mattress, this match right here. So we better stay on it. P's and Q's must be in play. And here we go. A beautiful shot right into the back of the net by Fest. Number 11. I don't know what it is. It's a recurring number scoring goals this episode. And we shall find out if we have the real number 11. Lutvitz, oh, what a touch, and what a through ball all the way. Travella, 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 Travella. Wow, good save by Hyge. A beautiful play, and I'm pretty sure it might be done here. One more, good touch. Jesus. No, Jesus, I like the effort, and it was a really good look there. I want to make sure we set up our teammates and get realistic goals as well. I don't really want to hold the ball too long, but then again, in world football, there really isn't a realistic goal. It's not like you can cheese on his game. So as long as I'm controlling the ball, making a good move, passing it around, I will see an enjoyable finish. And Jesus Fabianski is definitely looking for this goal. Quick pass back. My new position looking like the right wing. I thought I was playing there the whole time. The right mid, excuse me. And that is it for Jesus Fabianski. Simmed off the pitch in this one to end the episode off. Ended up being a 1-0 defeat. Not really what you want to see. And actually... I think we have one more match to play, but I'm gonna save it for next episode. Now, next episode, we will see. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna play it. I'm probably just gonna sim it, just to pretty much say the season is in the books. And look at that, we ended up picking up a win. So let's end this episode off. And here we go. To end the Bundesliga 3 season off, we are here with the league leaders. We can see through here we have no SC Freiburg players, unless we go to El Gunduin. So I'm pretty sure he had a, a goal tally of nine on the season, tying Jesus Fabianski for the number one goal scorer on the team. Now, if we go and look at assists, Jesus Fabianski turned it up, especially in those last four matches. I'm pretty sure he had four assists in three matches or maybe two matches, something like that. 
but he ends up with 15 assists in 36 matches. I just want to say thank you very much for tuning into this episode. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below, subscribe for more uploads like this. It's been Frank on the pitch with Jesus Fabianski. But one thing before I leave, I want to make sure, drop down below in the comment section, should I go to Middlesbrough? I, that's where I'm thinking about going. Or maybe one of these Bundesliga squads like VFL Bochum. I'm going to save right here and I will not make any moves. Let me know down below in the comment section, please. If you want to see me go to one of these clubs, Middlesbrough, Rio Ave, Hannes Rockstock, or VFL Bochum. I'm mainly looking at VFL and Middlesbrough. Maybe even the Eredivisie with Sparta Rotterdam. Those three teams are the ones I'm looking at. Let me know if you want to see me go there. Just want to say peace out, everybody, and stay safe, y'all.